happy my birthday. Watch out. Watch out for what? Uh, I think the stairs are broken. Yeah, Dad broke it while chasing a raccoon down the stairs. Ra raccoon? Oh, don't worry. He trapped it in the fridge. The fridge? Don't worry. We unplugged it and drilled some air holes. Drilled? Yeah, Animal Control said they'd come get it. But it's Sunday, so it might take a while. They love brunch. Wait a second. There's not actually a raccoon in this refrigerator. <laughs> What's up? I don't live here. I'm here to pick up the raccoon. It's in the fridge. They drilled air holes. Once again, I don't live here. Wait. Is that a Nueve Leches ice cream cake? Yes. Diez Leches. That's right. She's beautiful. So many ledges. Let's just eat it. Cake! 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 cake, 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 cake no! Cake, no! Cake, no! We cake. cannot eat the cake until we sing happy birthday to my son! I want that piece. <laughs> but that's the last piece. And you already had one. So? We need to save that piece for Henry. <laughs> Unhand me, boy! What are you doing? There's a raccoon in that fridge. Well, I know. And if anybody tries to take Henry's final piece of cake, I'm gonna let this raccoon out. Mm -hmm. That's a bad idea. I'll do it. You don't have the guts. Get him, boy! Okay. Come with me if you want to live. Thank you. You're a really good runner. Have you been working out? Well, I've been playing tennis. I'm not scared of you. Hey, I'm back. Hello? Anybody here? What's up? Mm. Where'd you get the bird? He's our class parrot, Otto. It's my turn to take care of him for the weekend. Oh. Well, hey there, buddy. Now, my name's... <laughs> yeah, don't touch him. He doesn't like that. Don't touch him. So he talks and stuff? Nah, he just picks up phrases and repeats things sometimes. Otto, say sweet stash, Jasper. Sweet stash, Jasper. Hey. <laughs> I gotta go grab his bird seat for my car. I have a driver's license. Sent by mistake. Why do we have to keep saying Established. That? Hey, come on, let's get back to studying history. What? How can we study our past when we got a talking parrot and a mustache in our present? You know, there could be a mustache in your future. <gasps> you really think I should grow one? Yes. You can have a mustache as Henry Hart. And his kid danger. Dude, if I had a mustache, then I would be man danger. <gasps> I just got chills. What? Hey, be quiet. Why? Because I don't want Piper to walk in here and hear you say that Henry is kid danger. Henry is kid danger. Henry is kid danger. Henry is kid danger. Okay, new plan, new plan. You Ow. go outside and stall Piper for as long as you can. Well, Help me hide out upstairs until we figure something out. All right, what do we tell Piper when she comes back and there's no auto? Uh, that someone broke it and stole him. Yes! Wait, where are you going? I got a great idea, Henry. Henry is kid danger. Henry is kid danger. Yeah, I know that, Otto. Shut your dang beak. What was that? Uh, I don't know, but I think I saw my retainer in those bushes. <laughs> what did you just do? Oh, I threw a potted plant through your door. Why? Uh, to make this place look like a juicy crime scene, you're welcome. All right, now hit me. 
in the face. Dude, why, why would I hit you in the face? Because when the cops get here, I need them to think that I put up a fight. They're not going to believe a kid with a mustache just ran away. Dang it, you're right. Yeah, I am. Now hit me. In the face. Oh my... What happened? Uh, uh, I tried to stop them. Who? The robbers. What robber? Where's Otto? They took him, but not without a fight, which you can see from my face. Where is Henry? Oh, uh, he uh, got scared and ran upstairs. <sighs> of course he did. I'm gonna go check on him. Okay, because Piper's talking bird found out that I'm Kid Danger, so now we're hiding it in my closet so it doesn't tell a secret to everybody in Swellview. You got yourself in quite a pickle, my friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's what I'm thinking. All right, I'm gonna go to a pet store. I'm gonna find a bird that looks exactly like the one that- Eh, yeah, stupid. Okay. What you need is a bird clone. What? Can you clone a bird? Yeah. You can clone a bird. What, do you need a feather? Yeah. Just needs a feather. Wah! Okay, Otto. You're not using all those feathers, are you? Can I just grab- Hey, did Schwaz clone a new auto yet? Uh, hang on. Are we close? I think so. Schwaz says we're close. All right, well, tell Schwaz to hurry up because there's a bird sniffing snake on its way, and they're gonna find Otto in my closet, and everyone's gonna hear. The moon landing was fake. Hey, wait a second. Otto, stop saying that. Henry is kid danger. Dang it! All right, people here are coming through the mecca hole. Make it wide. Oh, uh, look, it's Captain Man, and he's got the real auto. Oh. Did you find Otto? Sure did, little girl. Here you go. What happened to him? It looks like he's been microwaved or something. Oh, well, you know, the sickos that birdnapped him did not treat him very well. But when I found those people, I beat them up! Yep. Uh, well, I'm sorry, okay? I just don't get scared. All right? Just calm down, buddy. Challenge. Ooh. Dance battle! No, no. I already beat Henry in a dance battle. You did? I got served. I'm big enough to admit it. For this challenge, I'm gonna scare you. <laughs> Can't be done. Oh, yes, it can. I'm gonna tell you a story so scary it'll scare you. Bring it. And if I do scare you, we get your whole box of Bromaha steaks. Oh, you want yeah. the steaks? And the sensory suit will also measure the ferritol levels in Henry's body. Ferritol? What is that, like some kind of chemical your body produces when you're scared? Yes. Well, you better make sure that monitor can read zero because that's how much fear toll my body produces. Uh, yeah. I said, well, we, we heard, heard you. you. Wow, love you, friends. Quiet. We're trying to divvy up the stakes so we're gonna win. Aw, that's cute. You actually think you can scare me by telling me a story. I have a story for you. It's very quick and very scary. Okay, let's hear it. Once upon 15 minutes ago... Yeah? While Ray was telling you his story... Okay. I infused the story tank with butterfly DNA. I'm sorry, what? Oh, you didn't hear me? I said... I infused the story tank with butterfly DNA. So what does that mean? Foss. Whoa. Uritol level's rising. What? And urinal. So much urinal. <laughs> Your story suit is turning into a cocoon. Oh, wait, 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 w
All right, Schwaz, are we close? So what's gonna happen to me, Schwaz? Well, you'll be in the cocoon for about a month. What? What about fighting crime? What about, what about my parents? What about school? I don't know. I do know that when you emerge from the cocoon, you will have a strong desire to fly to Canada for the summer. Brad, you're coming with us to the Magic Palace. Not so fast. If I help you, I want to become visible again. How am I supposed to do that, Brad? Not you. The little science guy whose shower I've been sleeping in. What? You can do pretty much anything, so I figure you could turn me visible again. I think I can. I just need something to practice on. Fifteen cats should do it. Come on, Schwaz, where are we supposed to find 15 cats? Well, I can get you 15 cats. There's a sad grandma on our street who has like 50 of them. Great. Time to go pretend I like old people. <laughs> okay, love her. So, do we have a deal? Deal. Yes! You visibles just made a wise choice. Come on, kid. I got two great ideas for magician disguises. I am ready to love them. Hey, guys, I learned a great magic trick. Don't need it. Already got a trick. <laughs> but I put on the straitjacket and swallowed the key. So what's the trick? <laughs> Still with us, Brad? Brad. Right here, Blondie. God, I hate you so much. <laughs> Not loving the disguise, Ray. <laughs> Don't use my name, we're undercover. I'm the amazing Ray. Mission accomplished, people. <laughs> nice. Oh. Mission not accomplished. You still have to turn me visible. We're still working on that. We're down to our last cat. Huh? I thought you had 15 of them. We did. What happened to the other 14? Is that? Is that a giant lion? No, uh, no, most yeah. definitely no. not. You are <laughs> so, does this thing turn things visible or not? Only one way to find out. Ah, it worked! All right. Okay, <laughs> now point that thing at my beautiful face and make me visible again. Okay, get in position. Get this chicken out of my way. Soon, I will be known as Visible Brad. Just Brad. Everybody calls yeah. me Visible Brad. Have we Bradley? Just turn it on. Okay. Oh. Oh. Huh? Uh, somebody give me a minute. I want to see myself for the first time in 15 years. Uh, that's that's not a good idea. Ah! What happened to me? If anybody needs me, I'll be crying in Schwaz's shower. Uh, that's a private area. Uh. Emergency call. Captain Man Emergency Line, how may I kick your conundrum? What's that? Giant cats, you say? Fourteen of them, say you. So in your lab right now, there's a radioactive cat? That cat is long gone, Daddy-o. 
are so pretty. Yes, you are. You're so pretty. Wait, what does radioactive even mean? It means I have to find the cat and give it a cure before it spreads radiation to anyone else. We gotta find this cat. Yes, but if you see the cat, do not do any of the following things. Do not approach the cat. I'm coming to get ya. Do not snuggle the cat. You are so snuggly. Yes, you are. You are so snuggly. And do not give the cat a name. I think I'll name you Meatball. Why can't we give the cat a name? Yeah, what's wrong with that? Because that's the first step. You give the cat a name, the next thing you know, you're doing something really dangerous, like laying on the ground, letting the cat drink a spicy milk out of your mouth. No one would ever do that. They've got four hours to find that cat and bring it back here so I can give it the antidote. What happens after four hours? Uh, I'd rather not say, and you'd rather not know. No, no. Surprise all those cats aren't chasing your fish suit, Charles. Well, I like seeing Schwaz get hurt, but other than that, this was a giant waste of time. Speaking of time, I got a cruise. My mom has been texting me all day to pick up some cat food. I guess she found a cat outside of school and decided to take it home. <laughs> you guys, do you think my mom's new cat knows the cat we're looking for? I don't know. We could ask it. Great idea. Does anyone speak cat? Dang it, Bose! Your hot mom obviously took the cat home with her. Oh, I didn't know this ball had a doorbell. Hi, Mrs. O'Brien. Oh, it's Mrs. O'Brien Willard. I'm the vice mayor's trophy wife. Uh, we go to school with your son, and we were just looking for a lost cat, and... <gasps> Why, brother! Gasp! <gasps> Gaze upon our cat who was here to for lost! I don't understand any of those words. <laughs> That's our cat. We lost it. Can we have it back? Oh, this isn't your cat. It is, though. You no, know, I've had this cat for 20 years. <gasps> to the day. Mm, have you? Yes. Now, if you'll excuse us, I'd like to celebrate our cat anniversary together. Bowles told us that you found that cat today. If this is your cat, what's its name? Uh, Snow Pudding. Snow Pudding. That's right. Come on, Snow Pudding. Come on, girl. Boy. Uh, boy. His name is Meatball. And I will never give him up. Goodbye. Can I help you? Hey, you got a towel? I'm all sweaty from my job, saving animals and working with my callous hands. Um, I think I have a towel. We're actually looking for a cat. It looks like this. It's got rabies and it's poisonous. Haven't seen it. You're holding it. You're fired. <laughs> what? My husband is the vice mayor. He's out of town. Oh, is he? But I'm calling him right now and he'll have you fired if he finds out you're trying to take my cat away from me. Well, we're gonna need that cat, lady. What? Vicey, dear, there's two city workers here and they're trying to take away my cat. I need you to fire them. Are they listening? Yes. You're fired. <laughs> uh, sir, how long are you gonna be out of town for exactly? Lady, come out with your cat! Ah! No! You're gonna take me Paul, away from me! Just come out, Mom. Mom, Mia, you are frustrating us! None of whom are your kids! But I'm her kid. <laughs> Either you come out, or I'm coming in! Oh, sure. Good luck with that door in the way. Been waiting for this all day. I think you gotta greet it as an equal. Door, I greet you as an equal. And yet I must kick you! Amen. Please wipe your feet, these are new floors. Get out! Everybody ready? You timing me, right? What up, bud? Henry, uh, look what I got. Oh, what you, oh, oh, hey, hey, hey. What are you doing with that egg? I found it outside in your bush. Yeah, you, you, you should put that egg back. Nah, I'm gonna hatch this egg. 
No, you are not going to hash that egg. Yes, she is. And we're going to stream it live. Yes. No. Because that'll get me way more followers than Stacy Dauber. I wonder why this egg is so weirdly shaped. That's what people always say about my Aunt Trudy. Hey, guys. Hey, Dad. Hey, Mr. Hart. Look, me and Piper are hatching an egg, and we're going to stream it live on the web. Which is going to get me way more followers than Stacy Dauber. Oh, good. She's a terrible little girl. <laughs> right? Hi, little egg. What kind of bird are you going to be? What'd you do? Did you hurt our egg? No! It shot a tentacle up my nose and tried to suck my brains out! When is that dumb egg gonna hatch? I can't make nature happen faster than it wants to. Believe me, I've tried. Look at my pear string page. Stacy Dauber still has 26 more followers than me because our egg video is boring. Wait, wait, wait. I think it's starting to hatch. It is? Here comes the baby bird, the circle of life. Sorry, I'm sorry, but it's happening again. What's happening again? I'm having that feeling where I feel like I've seen this all before. Okay, if you've seen this before, then you should be able to tell us where the hostages are. Well, I could tell you. Where <laughs> <the hostages. laughs> okay, where are they? That's the thing. We never find out where the hostages are. I mean, we stop caring like two minutes from now. I'm telling you, we end up getting sidetracked by a completely different mission. And we never even come back to this hostage stuff. Real quick, I could just tell you where the hostage is. Oh my God, who cares? Shut up. <laughs> hey, well, what you're experiencing is a very common phenomenon called deja vu. I Which feel is... like I've been here before. I know I have. We got a crisis on our hands. But I told you, the hostages oh, are- Nobody shut your wife! The reason he's predicting a future is because he's already lived the future. Uh, what? Well, hang on, buddy. This is about to get real confusing, okay? Yeah. Cool, cool. I'll, I'll sit this one out. Yeah, you have to do your own thing. Listen to me. AWOL already knows what's going to happen because for him, it's already happened. He's caught in a time loop. We all are. That's the what. And the who? That's easy. The time jerker. <laughs> best chicken nuggets I've ever had in my life. That's because I made them from scratch. What's your secret? You don't want to know. Come on. No, seriously, if I tell you what all these nuggets are made out of, it'll haunt you for the rest of your lives. Ray, did you fire up the hot tub full of oil and cook? Okay, the flooding in my apartment has been fixed. Yeah. Yeah. Good on summer. you, man. Hey, thank you so much for letting me crash here and for deciding not to eat me. <laughs> It's been a great hang. Hey, Brainstorm, you gonna send me that article about prison reform? Check your email. <laughs> You're an animal. No, you are. <laughs> well, uh, I know we promised ourselves we wouldn't cry when I left, so I'm not even gonna make eye contact with Volt. <laughs> Don't forget me. <laughs> but I will say this, Captain Man, I did not know one could make such good chicken nuggets out of soy. Soy? Wow! <laughs> Me. Deep part. It's a deep part. <laughs> whoa, 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 wait, wait, wait. Relax, guy. It's just plant protein. No, I don't care about the soy. Actually, I do care. That was messed up. Don't trick me like that ever again. But no, I just had that feeling where I feel like I've seen everything before. But how could that be? Yeah, we already took care of the time jerker. Yeah, breaking all that stuff solves all of our problems. Amen. Well, it's still happening. I've definitely seen us eating nuggies with Chicken Man when Brainstorm has a pretzel around his neck. That's where it went. 
And Chicky Man's about to get a text from his landlord saying that his apartment just flooded again. But this time, with sewage. Oh. No, please. Sewage. What the heck is happening? Why is this still happening? Why is it happening with me? We're still stuck in the time loop. We, 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 we must have missed whatever device that the time trigger's is using to control time. Well, let's go back down there and break more stuff. Yeah. Yeah. The time yarker is not messing with time. No one is caught in a time loop. Uh, how do you know? They don't know anything. Listen to me. This device can tell me when anyone is messing with time. Going backward, going forward, uh, creating a time loop, anything. And it says no one has been messing with time at all for a while. Okay, Schwaz. Since you're so quote unquote smart, then how come AWOL can suddenly see into the quote unquote future before it quote unquote happens? Once again, you appear to have no idea how air quotes work. <laughs> Pretty sure I do. Okay. okay. I think in the same way that AWOL's superpower allows him to move his body anywhere in space. Uh, yeah, that's my thing. Yeah. I think his mind is starting to project itself forward through time. Maybe right now it's only happening in your dreams, and you only remember it when it's coming through in real life. <laughs> so I get a new superpower? Lucky. <laughs> yeah, I got two superpowers now. Yeah, that's what's up. Follow the clues, and you'll find the exit. But you only have 20 minutes. No, no, fly. Fly away. Fly like this. Wrong. Here we go. Quack. Quack. Fly like daddy. Like, no. No. Oh. OK, we got all our ducks in a row. No. Fly away, pretty ducks. <laughs> ducks can't fly. This guy's an idiot. <laughs> It said 1701. That could be the code that opens the door. We did it? Yes, but in a more accurate way, Mika did it. We did it! <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> what up with the brick wall? Wow, well, I didn't expect you to solve all the clues, but just in case you did, I planned ahead and had my weapons guy, Dimitri, build a second wall out of bricks! <laughs> Sorry, boys, and the two innocent children that got caught in my evil plan. Time to say goodbye! I don't no, no, take- no. no, 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 no! What? Just pull it out. No! It's electrified, you'll Nothing get- Nothing the old man mouth can't fix. Fire in the hole! Wait a minute. You didn't disarm it. You just cut the wire to the timer display. <laughs> ah, you idiots did nothing. This device is still live. Yeah. We know. But now we're in the back, and you're out there with the boomsday device. <laughs> we'll see you again, Frittleman. When ducks fly, <laughs> ah, that'll never oh, fly. Frittles. <laughs> Hey, good news. The hospital just texted me. They were able to reattach Jack Fiddleman's face. Yeah. Good thinking on your part to put that face on ice. Uh, that was actually Miles and Mika's idea. No? The, the kids who helped us escape from Fiddleman's trap? Fiddle who? Are you serious? Are you serious right now? You know what? Whatever. Your brain's broke, but I got a waz. Yeah, me too. Well, I'm gonna go first. Well, I'm in charge here. Well, I think I'm gonna go. Don't tug me! I'm holding a duck! 